Today on Candle Chats, we are reviewing Lilabo candles. I have no joke had this one Lilabo candle since August 26th of 2017. Wow. I know that because you can get the labels personalized and when you go to the boutique, they put whatever you wanna put on the label. I wasn't feeling creative, I just got my name. Um, and it has the date. Also, Maddie's like squatting next to Well, me. because yeah, I don't, if I do this, then I'm like, you know, I'm just trying to be, you know, for the frame. I don't know, anyway. Okay, it's kind of weird because you're like, it's I'm like, like ready. you're ready to go or something. <laughs> It's like the, in a video game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, okay. fight, the fight Choose your fighter? Screen. Choose your fighter, yeah, Okay, yeah, yeah. anyway. Um, so yeah, you can see I've clearly rationed this candle. <laughs> um, Santal used to be my favorite scent. Um, I heard about them because I read like a birdie or gloss, uh, into the gloss, something. Had an article that was like the scent of LA is Santal. And mm -hmm. then I started recognizing it. Like we went to West Elm and the person helping us in West Elm was wearing Santal. Uh, we'd go to like Arclight and I could smell Santal like in the movie theater on people. Like it is like, a lot of people wear it. It's unisex um, and it smells great. It's a very distinct smell. Mm -hmm. So I got it in my mind that it was like, I needed to get it, I don't know. Um, anyway, so here it is. Had it since 2017. It packs a punch. Um, Santal is a very distinct scent. It's sandalwood, but it's also other ingredients that I don't know. Do you want to like sniff it? No, it's good. I mean, I, I I I feel like I'm very familiar with the scent because it's it's like a it's like a staple. Yeah. Um. I, I, by, by the way, I, if I was gonna be the one picking uh, the scent of LA, I personally would pick either a, a taco truck or cream barbecue. But I'm saying fragrance that I know. I know. Wear. I'm saying if I, I'm saying if it, if it had it my way, it'd be people that's would I, wear a taco. Sense? Yeah, people know that like that it, it would be like everywhere you go you'd smell which actually already happens you smell a taco truck or you smell cream barbecue because that to me is like LA. I'm saying a lot of people wear this fragrance in LA and that's how I heard about it. Yeah. I don't I don't go outside and smell Santal. I would love to go to the arc light and smell a taco truck. That's all I'm saying. I would love to go to Arclight and smell Swan Taller. <laughs> I would just love to go to Arclight yeah, and really miss true. it. Um, anyway, but this one, like, incredible throw. Seriously, you can smell it throughout the whole house. I don't care how big your house is. Like, this packs a punch to the point where now when I light it, I'm like, it kind of feels overwhelming. It'll last you, what, four years? If you, if, if if you, you really rash it. Yeah. I'm a little kooky. Okay. A little. <laughs> Next is Palo Santo. This is actually my second one. Well, I hadn't lit it and then I started doing these candle reviews and I was like, oh, I should light it. It tunneled horribly, like to the point where there was like an inch of residual wax all the way around. Yeah. Um, and somebody messaged me and they were like, you should message the Labo and maybe they'll like give you a new one. So I did, I think they'll do that for anyone. Like their customer service is really great, but I just needed to prove that we actually bought it. And then I was able to return the busted one and they gave me a new one. So I lit it last night for the first time. Um, these don't burn very evenly or well at all. Like you can see, there's a lot of residual wax, um, but this one isn't tunneling like the other one does. Cold throw is amazing. Smells like Palo Santo with like a little bit more going on, but you can barely smell it like when it's lit. The throw is really weak, um, which is disappointing because this one is like in your face and then this one you can barely smell at all. Also they're a perfumery and you expect a perfumery to have candles that really like knock you in the face with scent. So disappointed by this one. Mm, that's too bad. Also, should we talk about these vessels? Mm. <laughs> Why um, not? The shape and like the vessel itself is inherently stupid um, wow. for a candle because it tapers. So that means as you get lower down and the flame gets like larger, you're guaranteed to get soot all the way around just because it tapers. And also because it tapers, it's not flat. It has a curve. So every single label has like air bubbles. Mm. This candle is $75. Um, I don't know why this is their signature look. When I see it in people's like Instagram pictures, it makes me envious. I know it's a good candle, you know? So like, I get it. There's like hype around it, but inherently a stupid shape for a candle. What would you suggest? Like just a straight? Yeah, like, if thing. you're gonna have a candle, if it tapers, there's gonna be, so it's mm. inevitable. Hopefully Mr. or Mrs. Lalabo are, are, they're watching this. And they... I think they're owned by like Estee Lauder okay, or something now. Whatever, corporate overlord yeah. is watching this. Okay, so this one is very interesting. This is Laurier. Okay. Oh, another oh. thing to note. <laughs> 
The number is how many ingredients are in it. So Palo Santo has 14 ingredients, Santal has 26, Laurier has 62. So this is like, and it's- Wait a minute, I'm sorry, I'm so distracted. You, you buried the lead here. This one says four candle chats on it. Yeah. Like this, you, you got a candle for the show? Or four I, candle chains? I bought it. Yeah. We went. Back in August of last year. Yeah, when I started getting more into candle chats, yeah. it like justified purchasing Lilavo in my mind. And you can customize the label, so I got it to say candle chats. Well that's the that should be the that's the that's the lead. That's the most oh. interesting that's cool. You look, look It is cool that you can put whatever I mean you could put like ding dong doo-doo head on it if you want. Like you could put whatever you want. You could put emojis on it, I think. Like Right that, is, that is cool that you can do that. But again, like there's bubbling on every single one because of the curve. Mm -hmm. It's just a bad shape inherently for a candle, but it's recognizable you, now and like- You keep buying them as of August of 2020 and you bought another one, so. I bought it for candle chat. Okay, or, I mean, yeah, clearly it says that. It's, we, we, yes, we okay, got so yeah. do you want to like sniff this one? I feel like I these like are- this, I mean, the, the, I feel like you almost have to like take this one aside and like that's its own, like you, you already kind of established that's its own thing. It's like an institution it seems like in scents yeah. and in like candles and whatnot. So comparing these two, I would say that that's nice. I think this one's better though. I like how this one smells like a, like a really like cozy fireplace. So this is kind of, I couldn't even rattle off all of the ingredients in it. They don't even put them all on their site, but there's 62 in here and there's a lot of like clove and like a bunch of different spices. It, when this, I lit this only once, but when I lit it, it smelled like a fancy boutique in here. Like mm. I could see lighting this before you have people over and it gives the home like a really nice scent. It's not my favorite scent, but it smells fancy and it smells like, I don't know. Yeah, no, it I, smells I like, like it. ooh, I have money and I'm burning it. That's what it smells like. <laughs> I would say that the Laurier one has good throw, Santal great, um, Palo Santo really weak. Mm, so it's like, it's inconsistent, but I think the Santal will always be a banger. They also sell samples of their perfume for $6 for a little mm. vial, which I really like that you can sample it and pick the fragrances that you want. Um, and I highly recommend that if you're gonna get a perfume, sample it because it changes on your skin. And even if it smells amazing on your best friend or your sister or whoever, it can smell totally different on you. I used to wear Santal, but it never like landed on my skin right. It didn't like dry to like fit my body chemistry. Um, and that's what you want. You want a scent that other people can smell, but that you can't smell all day that like gives you a headache. Santal isn't that for me. I thought it was, I tried to make it that scent. It's not. Rose is more my scent. Yeah. Cool. That's a lot of info, but. That's a lot of info. Well, Lalabo, candle chats.